guys. Uh, good morning to everyone who's joining today. Um, so I sort of wanted to cover a few of the different cannon types. Uh, my voice does sound like I have a nasty cold right now. So yeah, I'll be dealing with that. So anyway, I'll get straight into it. So basically what we have here is our 2 sec 384 from um, our last video or our last set of videos. The little raiding cannon that we made, um, which, as I found out later, actually happened to have AP, and I didn't even realise. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so basically, from this point onwards, you're sort of going to be dealing with three different main cannon types. So, it can be pretty easily broken up into four slash raiding cannons, side counters, and buffer counters. So basically, this is what you would call a 4 slash rating cannon. Um, it's generally larger. Um, auto is at pretty high speeds, so maybe 2 sec, under 2 sec, and it is designed for basically getting into bases. So you're going to want as much versatility on this as you basically uh, can have. So of course you want bypass, OSRB, overstack if you want to add overstack, um, web bus nukes, that sort of thing. So basically, that's that sort of the um, thought behind a raiding cannon. Usually, they're a bit more spread out than other cannons as well, um, just so it's easier to lay everything out. Um, and yeah, that's that sort of it. You can um, you can force with most cannons if you're like up against really shit players, um, but for the most part, you're going to be wanting to use like specialized raiding cannons to raid people. Now, in the second sort of category, um, that would be side counters. So, I did release a side counter on my um, on my YouTube channel here somewhere, um, which I've actually converted into a bit of a force. But basically, this is the second type of cannon. You will notice here that it doesn't look like it has a hammer at all. Um, that's because it's something called a hammerless. I'll, I'll get into that probably in the next video, what a hammerless does and how you can make one. Um, but for the most part, side counters, basically, they're going to be used if you don't have a buffer counter, um, if you want to raid a shitty base, if you want, um, if you're being attempted and like your buffer counter can't reach or something, you want to use a, a side counter. So typically, a side counter is probably going to be an, an efficient nuke instead of a web bus nuke, um, although they can have web bus nukes as well. Um, but they're going to basically prioritize speed to build. So you'll notice here that this is a lot smaller than the um, than the force I just showed you, um, and that's that's because it is a hammerless. And I actually have my nuke dropping into my sandcom, my nuke and my one rope dropping into my sandcom um, instead of having a separate compartment for the nuke. That's optional. You still can have an apart a uh, separate compartment for the nuke. But it will cut down um, build time a lot by dropping it in with your sand. So that's the side counters. So yeah, they're generally pretty quick, um, prioritizing build speed pretty much over everything else. And yeah, you just want to get them up quick, and you want to be shooting on other people's cannon boxes as quick as you can be. Now the final one. Hopefully, I have a home port. I do. Okay. So there are also something called buffer counters as well. So basically, buffer counters are typically a bit slower than your normal cannons, um, but <coughs> they're going to have really quite high range. Um, slower speed, smaller nuke, um, really high float, and basically, with buffer counters, you're prioritizing adjusting to hit as many different spots as you can. So what I mean by that is you want to be basically... You're basically putting these in the corner of your base. So this was this was an old base that I had planned out one season. Um, I don't think I ever used this base, but basically you can see here um, that I have these big stretches of obsidian here. Basically, what this is is a it's called a U fusion. Basically, it's got four powers, um, and what happens basically is you can fly along this little channel here and flip. <laughs> Um, that's where the cannon's going to start shooting out of. And I also have a lever back at the actual cannon. 
as well where I can easily change the direction that it's firing. So it'll be firing up there and if I flick the lever it will be firing up there. Uh, barrels are pretty weird for U-Fusions, so this is the barrel that I settled on. Um, and I think my toggle was like here or something. But basically, it doesn't it doesn't have to be a U-Fusion. Um, buffer counters, you can get 360s where they use like a special barrel to be able to hit basically everything in a massive arc. Um, <coughs> and you can basically customise the barrel and where, depending on where you want to adjust. And of course, there's a couple of other different types. There's a second type of U-Fusion where... Instead of it shooting up the side and then out the top, you actually shoot it forwards and then left and right, depending on where you want to float. Um, of course, that's 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 not necessary. Um, this one here, this one doesn't go left and right. This one, well, it sort of goes left and right, but basically it's it's not triangling. Um, uh, it's it's only doing like X out here. So you actually physically adjust the cannon by going in here. And basically, when you're using a really, really high power, um, and you're not adjusting, uh, basically, X or Z when you're firing um, out from here, um, you're going to get very, very high range. So I think this one was a uh, 200, maybe 300 chunk range, um, and could float all the way up to all the way up to sky limit as well. So this would like cover my entire buffer. It was. Obviously, you can tell like there's a lot of a lot of dispensers in these because you do need that uh, four power setup. Um, but for the most part, yeah, this one this one was a fun cannon. I never really did finish this cannon. Um, uh, I got pretty close. But yeah, anyway, that's that's sort of it. So that's the three three main types of cannons. So we've done quite a few force cannons. So with um, if we just go back to my little spot here, uh, if we just go back to our two sec up here. Um, you'll notice that this is a normal raiding cannon and basically what we're going to be doing in the next episode exp is explaining how hammerless cannons work. Um, I guess a very very quick rundown of how they actually work is like they aren't they aren't true hammerlesses they still have a hammer but what you're doing is you are firing your hammer out of your power and then you're physically splitting it up at the bottom so you're basically using um, two barrels almost um, to split up your hammer and your power. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do hammerlesses. I'll talk about them all in the next video. Um, or I'll t talk about the first one actually because I, I don't have too much experience with, um, with render queue. Um, but it's not, it's not going to be hard to learn for me. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll sort of talk about the different setups of hammerless you can do and we'll do like a, a three sec side counter or something, uh, for like a 256 hammerless. Something along those lines, basically. And yeah, there's like three, three different main setups that you can, you can do with a, you can do with a hammerless, um, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy once you get a hang of it. And it just goes down to personal preference, what you want to do. But yeah, apart from that, that, that sort of should be it for this video. Um, I didn't. I didn't really want to record like a full video today because I am. I am quite quite off right now. Um, but hopefully it clears itself up uh, by tomorrow, and I'll continue on after that. But yeah, apart from that, that'll that'll sort of be this video done. So I'll catch you on the next one.